Park Bench, classic improv game. You've probably played this before. Uh, in case you don't know, just watch this quick video. Um, I have a couple of rules I think help keep this game working. And honestly, it's one of their favorites to play. So what I'll do is set up two chairs in our space. And I'll go, all right, this game is called Park Bench. And here's how it works. Everybody's sitting. Um, one person is going to be sitting in the chair. And when you're sitting in this part of the bench, you're just a regular, normal person. You can be reading a newspaper. You can just be sitting. You're waiting for the bus or whatever. Then somebody else is going to walk in and sit down next to you. The goal of that person is to come up with something that would annoy the person that they're sitting next to enough so that they have, they get up and they walk away and they leave. All right. There are a couple of rules to this. Rule number one, you're not allowed to touch that person. You just can't go up to them and push them or poke them or get right in their face. All right. So you can't do that. Um, second rule is no repeating. So if somebody goes up there and sits down and starts going like blah, 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 blah. All right, then we've already seen that. So you got to come up with something different. So think of some creative ways that would annoy the person. Rule number three, if you are the normal person, you eventually have to get up. Even if you don't think that that is super annoying or you're like, I'm not annoyed by that. Here's what would happen in that situation. Let's say that you're sitting there and somebody comes up and does something and you just look at them and go, no. No. <laughs> what happens? Yeah, the game is over. It dies. This person is now sitting there with their foot in their mouth trying to annoy you and you're just like refusing. So part of the game is that I want you, if you're the normal person, I want you to react like that is a real thing and you are really annoyed. That's your way of acting through this scene. Then you get up, you run away. Then the annoyer scoots down. They sit in the chair and now you become the normal person. Then the next person comes in and comes up. Um, I always go in and do a couple just to kind of help them get out of they're, – they're, they're, they're going to go right to just saying or doing annoying stuff. So to, you know, to jumpstart creativity, you know, you could sit down and be like, oh, boy, did you – do fleas jump? Do fleas move around? Because I'm pretty sure – oh, there's two. You know, that or I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sit down and be like, <laughs> well, how's it going here? It's very nice being in the dark. Oh, it's a very nice neck you have there. <laughs> you know, being Dracula or like a secret agent you can sit down and like, okay, got it. This message will self-destruct in 15 seconds. Pfft, here, hold this. And, you know, they'll get up and go. So just try to come up with some things that would um, get them out of that typical just go up there. Because they will. They'll just kind of go and be like, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? And... That's fine for the first time, but then afterwards be like, oh, that's a repeat. Let's see something different. All right, park bench.